people of God, God bless you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depend where you're watching from. I have a message to pass to you, and I wanted to pass this message to someone. You know, today, ignorance is the highest problem we have as Christians. Ignorance is the biggest disease and biggest trouble. Many people are suffering. You know, today you will see so many people going to church fasting and praying, but their prayer is not eating any fruit. If you go to church on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they are dear to someday, but their prayer is not eating any fruit just because they are ignorant. Prayers without action is dead. Let me tell you, when you read the book of Matthew 14, 15 to 19, 20, even he came, apostles said to Jesus, send these people home. Jesus said, no, I can't send them home empty-handed. Give them something to eat. And the apostle says, where can we get bread and fish that we serve this multitude? Because there are too many. Jesus says, what do you have at hand? And they said that we have two fishes and five loaves of bread. Jesus lay hand on that five loaves of bread and the two fishes and multiply it. Jesus is always looking for something in order to bless. God cannot multiply emptiness. Jesus cannot just multiply emptiness. He's looking for something to lay hand to multiply. So they said that thousands of people ate that fish and bread and they were left over. The same thing, when you read John chapter 2, when wine finished, Virgin Mary interceded, Jesus says, fill the container with water. Because there was no water in the container. That does not mean that Jesus has no power to order wine to come. Why do we appear? But he asked them to do something significant. He asked them to fill the container with water. Then immediately they filled the container with water. He laid hand on that water. He prayed on that water. And the water turned into wine. He has to lay hand on something for multiplication. You can pray for 100 years without result. Because your prayer does not carry action. Malaba shakata. Lelebo shandalababa kende. Let your prayer carry action. Prayer without work is dead. If you read the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, a widow came to Elisha. When my husband was alive, he was a good man. But a man he was owing has come to take my two children as a slave in payment for my husband's debt. Elisha says, woman, what do you have at hand? Elisha says, what do you have at hand? Second Kings chapter 4 verse 2. The woman says, I have nothing but a little olive oil. Elisha said, now, get that little olive oil. Go into your house. Go and hire a container. Elisha prophesied upon that little olive oil that the woman had. And there was a multiplication. To the extent that the, the woman who got a container, her neighbor's container, and all you feel everywhere, and the woman sold the whole oil. She paid her debt. And the leftover makes her a billionaire. Elisha asked her a significant question. Woman, what do you have at hand? Many people pray without having nothing at the hand. You will see so many of our graduates today. When there is small work of 20, 30, after your graduation, you will be doing. You are saying, no, 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 no. It's not up to my standard. And you are carrying your file from one office to another. You are looking for a big work. Start from something. From that one, God will increase you. God can promote you. God can multiply you. Stop going to church from Monday to Saturday without having something doing. Start something no matter the little. That is where God will lay hand to multiply and to bless you. God bless you. It is well with you. I say it is well with you. Pass this message for someone's ignorance to be corrected. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.